one of the biggest things that we have on this GPS sprayer, in order for this GPS system to properly function, we need to have GPS signal antennas up to the receiver on top here, and we need to have cellular signals. Up here on the screen in the bottom, we have this cell phone, and you can click on it right here. It is the signal strengths and the GPS uh, tracker, and it'll tell you whether we have RTK or if we're on GPS. Um, we need to have both of those in order to have the RTK correction. If we have any sort of cloud cover or something blocking the signal, we're going to lose RTK. The most common thing is the sprayer will start bouncing around the screen. That's a moment where we need to flip it into manual and go back to old school spray tactics in those situations. The other thing we can do is over here on the left side of the screen, the third button down is all these satellites. Right here we're able to see the third button over it says right now we have 14 satellites that we're following so that's another way so we can know how many satellites we actually are seeing uh, and then also if we press this button that says RTK it'll tell us that we're having a link our link system is we are a 1.0 link system and it's up with the guys up at your north clubhouse it'll actually tell you the distance from the tower um, right now we're having a uh, we're currently having a connectivity issue because our distance is at zero but it says we got a hundred percent link quality so somebody just reset the router up there cool <laughs> but that's basically kind of a fundamental just a quick check again before you call NSN hey do I have cell phone am I seeing satellites go and click the RTK button am I seeing distance on the tower time since last message received how many messages have I received